Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome and I'm so glad that you clicked on this video and don't forget to subscribe since you're already here. So today is another story time video, yay! <laughs> so if you're new, I do votings on my videos every single Saturday through my Instagram and through my Snapchat. So make sure you follow me on those social media platforms. I will leave my names right here somewhere <laughs> so today's story time video is when one of my ex-boyfriends got my name tattooed on him okay so let's see this happened i was still in high school and i was a sophomore i believe yeah i was a, i was a sophomore and um i was going through like this phase or whatever i was going through like a like a bad boy face like I just want like a, a bad boy I guess so um so I saw this dude and he was this was when I was into light skin guys I I love I love dark skin boys but if you guys know what my boyfriend looks like he's light skin but I love me some dark skin boys so um I was walking around my school and stuff and then like I just started noticing this boy that I never seen before or like have never seen like um because I knew almost everyone in high school around that time like I knew everyone in the grave above me and the grade under me so I never seen this guy before at all at my school or even in my neighborhood so I was like oh he's kind of cute and whoop whoop and he's tall or whatever but he was just like really skinny I wasn't really into skinny guys but for some reason he pulled it off really well <clears throat> so one of my friends knew him and she was like oh his name is what should we name him princess we can't be giving away real names what do you want to call him let's call him mark that's a stupid name uh, that's not a stupid name but let's just call him mark so she, so my friend was like, "Oh well, I know him. Um, let me introduce you to him or whatever." And so um, she had called him over or whatever, and she was like, um, "My friend, think you're cute or whatever." And I was just like, "Sheesh, <laughs> you can't introduce me first while without saying like, you know, I think he's cute or whatever." but whatever so he was like oh so you think i'm cute and shit and i was just like yeah or whatever and so um we had exchanged face i think we exchanged facebook's before we had exchanged numbers yeah this is when i used to have a facebook i'm thinking about making a facebook again but i don't know anywho so um we were talking for maybe no more than like a couple weeks maybe and then we started dating and so like he was like a really bad like he was like a real like legit bad boy like he was either suspended from school or he was like in in school detention or uh he always got in trouble with like the police for like minor stuff and he always got into fights a lot um so one day I had um, invited him over to my house because my sisters weren't home, my parents weren't home. Princess, what are you? I'm gonna let Princess do her. As long as she's quiet, I don't care. Anywho, um, so you know, no one was home, so I was like, okay, well, you could come over or whatever. And this was maybe about after a month of us dating or whatever like we didn't have sex or anything we didn't really talk about sex for real so i just invited him over to chill or whatever and so um he had came over and um we were watching some movie i can't remember what it was and um you know he just started like filling on me and we was just making out the entire time not paying attention to the movie um, taking pictures on my camera for Facebook and stuff like that. And so, bottom line, we end up having sex um, while watching whatever movie we were watching. And um, and then 
he had got a call from either his mother or his brother or something telling him to come home. So he had went home. Um, the next day, I wanted to go get a tattoo. And so um, he was like, oh, well, I know this dude who can um, do the tattoo for you or whatever and not pay for it. And I was like, okay, cool. That's That was my first tattoo. That's the tattoo that's on my back. I'll probably insert a picture somewhere on the screen. Um, but it's basically just my nickname or whatever. And so I had got that um, tattooed on me. And then he had got um, a tattoo on his neck of something. I, I don't I can't remember what it was. And so, um, so after that night, um, the next day, um, I had came home from school and he told me that he wanted to come show me something. Well, no, not to show me something. He told me that he had some gifts for me. And I was like, okay, cool, or whatever. And so he came to my house. I think he had went to, like, Hot Topic or something. He just brought me, like, he didn't buy me. <laughs> I figured out that they were stolen after the fact but he had got me like a whole bunch of like jewelry and stuff from um hot topic he had got me i think he brought me a shirt because i saw the receipt so i think he brought me a shirt but all the jewelry and stuff he had stole from me or whatever and i was like oh well that's so sweet that you had got me all this stuff or whatever and so he was like oh well if you like this you might like um something else that i did and i was just like oh what else did you do and um so it was this was like maybe around like september and stuff so it wasn't cold but it was cold enough for you to like have like on like a light jacket or like a windbreaker and so he had took off his jacket and he had like on um a body armored shirt the ones that are like long sleeve with the little turtleneck and so then he had uh took off his shirt halfway so he lift up his shoulder and he was like i got your name tattooed on me and i'm and I'm just looking at him like, not like that, but I'm just trying to see what Princess is trying to, and I'm just looking at him like, well, how would you do that? I didn't say that, but I was just like, I was like, why would you get my name tattooed on you? Now, like, this is just not like, this was just an yeah this wasn't just my name so it was right here on his shoulder it's a big ass heart with wings angel wings on it and it said Nisha and this joint was big as hell like it was really really big and he was like you don't like it and I was just like I mean I think it's sweet but like we only been dating for like a month and he was like oh well I plan on being with you forever and you're gonna be my wife and have my kids and I was just like no bro like I'm only well how old was I, I was like what 15 14 15 like no maybe I'm not thinking about marriage right now I'm thinking about trying to get through high school <laughs> trying to pass freaking biology like no so um we were going back and forth about the tattoo and how i thought it was a big mistake because tattoos are permanent and i eventually broke up with him that night yeah the same night he got my name tattooed on him it was the same day that i broke up with him so that's the story of one of my exes getting my name tattooed on him. It was a really short story. But oh well. Moral of the story is, don't get anyone a name tattooed on you unless you are married. Or if you plan on being together for a while. Don't be young and dumb. And yeah, that's, that's the moral of my story. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to follow me on all other social media platforms so you can be included in my next voting for whatever video you guys want to see. Um, so, Saturday is my birthday. I'll be 23. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be vlogging on my birthday. It, it, it just depends. 
um, but most likely I will not be so just make sure you follow me on snapchat to get all of my birthday um, snaps and stuff to see what I'm doing um, I might be doing a video before Valentine's Day should depend on how my work schedule is for my other job because she don't post it until Friday so I won't actually know what my schedule looks like until Friday but if I don't see you guys before Valentine's Day I hope you guys have a safe and romantic Valentine's Day if you're single it's okay sis just go get you a box of chocolate watch you some movies or go get drunk go get turned like don't be in the house bored because you don't have a valentine's day because guess what sis someone loves you you have a family that loves you hopefully you have a pet that loves you as much as princess loves me so yes mommy so yes sis don't don't be discouraged because you do not have a valentine on valentine's day but me and princess will catch you guys in the next video and I love, 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 love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in my next video.